Hello my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel today I will take you to safety first magazine by Airbus this is only for pilots and the maintenance that operate and maintain the Airbus safety first Airbus .com. it's for pilots and maintenance personnel so we'll go to archive there is a very old article but it's a very good one is tail pipe or engine fire this article dictates the difference between the engine fire and tail pipe fire because pilots and the maintenance mistakenly uh, do the procedure of engine fire for tail pipe fire but they are totally different so we'll go now to the article is tail pipe or engine fire produced by Airbus? It's a very good article. I recommend it for every pilot and maintenance personnel. So I need to take you for this box. Here Airbus tell you the procedure, the main procedure to extinguish the tail pipe fire. As I told you, tail by fire is not an engine fire. They are totally different. Tail by fire is an internal fire coming from the core of the engine. Let's see what is the tail by fire. If we go for YouTube, for example. And we will search for tail by fire like here tail by fire uh, this is a video for a tail by fire engine tail by fire Tail by fire is only on ground. It is coming, may come uh, during engine start or shutdown. As you can see, it's coming from the core of the engine or the heart of the engine. It is an internal fire. It's coming maybe from excess of fuel in the combustion chamber or the after turbine race. It is not in the uh, external cows. The solution for the tail by fire is ventilation of the engine is to do dry motoring or dry cranking okay so this is the tail by fire maybe i don't know if there is another good video or not okay this one is good so let's go for here this table it is an example from the flight crew operating manual for all the series of Airbus starting from the A300, A310 up to the single aisle family and the white bodied. As I told you, the solution for tail by fire is only ventilation or dry cranking. So you need to dry crank the engine, you need to start or engage the starter to dry crank the engine, crank the engine. Only crank. You will not need to use the fire bottles fire bottle is only for engine fire but for tail by fire you just need to crank the engine this is in order to cranking is no ignition cranking is dry motoring the engine with no fuel and no ignition so crank the engine order to inhibit the ignition circuit and the dry motor the engine to reduce the to reduce the internal temperature and the air will blow out the fire and residual fuel or vapor. So the solution for tail by fire for any engine is to crank. Okay, so for example, you will see here uh, from the beginning, if you will start manual start, if manual start perform it off engine master lever for affected engine off 
And here is a very good note by Airbus to tell pilots not to release the fire push button. Fire push button release is only in the engine fire. But as I told you, Airbus found that many pilots and the maintenance personnel mistakenly do the procedure for engine fire and tear by fire. But this is the mistake. If you release the fire push button, okay, it will cut the FADIC and cut the electrical power of the engine computer and prevent motoring. So note, don't press the engine fire push button. Don't press the engine fire push button since this will cut off the FADIC power supply, which will prevent the motoring sequence. Okay, so then you need to establish the air bleed. We need air bleed to engage the starter of the affected engine. Establish air bleed to supply the affected engine starter using either the opposite engine if still running or ABU bleed or ground power unit if connected. Then you will need just to crank the engine. Crank the engine. Okay, so if you will go to my YouTube channel, this is my YouTube channel, Aviation Nuggets. Aviation Nuggets. You will find a very good animation video I did design regarding the procedure of tail by fire. Uh, it is an old one. Yes, this one, Airbus tail by fire procedure. There is a very short video to tell you about the procedure for tail by fire. It is only for performance support. Please don't use for flights and always consult your formal manuals. So I did design this animation to tell my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance how to summarize the procedure for tail by fire. So it's an abnormal procedure. So according to the FACOM and QRH, this is the table that we already discussed. You need to crank the engine in order to inhibit ignition and reduce internal temperature and blow out the fire and residual fuel. So internal engine damage will normally not occur provided that ventilation with minimum delay so why you need to ventilate you need to ventilate the engine or dry crank the engine because ventilation will blow out the fire and residual fuel or vapor reduce the internal temperature and inhibit the ignition circuit so to ventilate here is what you need to do action one if manual start is done off engine master affected engine off action number two you need to establish air bleed to supply the affected engine starter and then you need to crank the engine dry motor the engine or crank the engine okay so what if you do and it is do happen before if you dry crank the engine and the fire is not extinguished your last result is to use a portable fire extinguisher, but this one must have either CO2 or halon gas. It cannot have like powder because it will affect the engine blades and it will corrode the engine blades and turbine blades or fan blades. So if no bleed available or no means to ventilation, you need to use a ground fire extinguisher. And it is better to have CO2. CO2 is better than dry powder and the chemical foam because they are very corrosive to the engine. So this is a fast recall and this is informal training. This is a performance support tool. It's just for training purpose and it's unofficial training. So please go to your formal manuals and remember they are totally different. Engine fire and tail by fire are totally different okay thank you for your good listening 
and I will meet you again very soon.